it's very puddingy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we I know I look so disheveled. It is like 1 a.m. And <laughs> I need to try the Aquabond sleeping mask because I'm trying a whole new skincare regimen starting tomorrow. So I wanted to get this done while I have whatever I've been using on my face for the last little while. So this is the newest Aqua Bomb sleeping mask and it apparently is like a jelly pudding mask. You use it after you put on your moisturizers, like you clean your face and then you put on your moisturizer, you put on a thin layer, let it dry for a minute or two and then you go to sleep and by tomorrow morning it should be super baby soft, hydrated and so we're going to give this a try now. And now, before I apply the sleep mask, take a peek at my skin. I see I've had some breakouts over the last little while, but a lot of it has really, really calmed down with the combination of the different things I'm doing. I had a bit of a reaction. We have a really ripe banana downstairs, so that could be caused from that because I didn't have that this morning. It feels pretty soft because I have been using the Isanox Micro Needling Polisher for... I used it for my sixth time this morning and I've noticed a huge difference with the softness of my skin. I will do a quick first impressions on this and then we'll talk about the benefits tomorrow. Oh my god, it's huge! Look how big this thing is. It is ginormous. It's really heavy. It's good weight on this. It's supposed to lock and seal an explosive hydration overnight for instantly, sorry, to intensely moisturize for a dewy glow. It is dermatolog dermatologically, dermatologically tested. I can't talk at 1 a.m. It's cr uh, made with ladies' mantle, Napier's original formula, and Napier's aqua formula. Mm. Why is it not opening? <laughs> I can't get it to open. Ah! Strong, Jesse. This is completely sealed. It is huge. How big is this thing? Oh, 75 ml. Okay, so it's it's big. Ooh, ooh, it's a, such a pretty blue color. Wow. Oh, wow. It smells so nice. It's a little citrusy. Very fresh and bright. Reminds me a lot of the Aqua Bomb, actually. And the consistency. It is kind of like pudding. Yeah, it's really much a lot like pudding. Huh. All right, well, let's do this. So they said to apply a thin layer onto your face and then let it dry for Monaco. I'm just hoping that doesn't all end up on my pillow. All right, so that is that closest baby up. We're going to let this dry. So you see, I have a thin, thin layer. Well, not a thin, thin layer, but a thin layer. I feel like it, could, it does sit on your face. So... It'll be good because once it dries, then hopefully it won't smear off onto my pillow. You know what? I'm gonna patch on my knuckles on my hand. Look at that, look at that, look at that. It's very puddingy. How fun. It's kind of like those jello cups. I could put a little bit on my knuckles because my knuckles have been really, really dry over the last while. So let's see if that works as a hand mask too. So this side, nothing. This side I have a little mask on. Oh, I think it's pretty much almost dry. It's still a little bit dewy. But I think it's okay for me to just go and get ready for bed. So, good night. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. You want to say good morning to the camera? Good morning. Are you ready to wake up for school? <laughs> Come on, school time. Let's go. All right. It's the next morning. I've been scratching because I went downstairs first, and. I scratched my forehead. <laughs> anyway, it's the next morning and I'm ready to wash off the mask, ignore my very pink bathroom. Eventually we're gonna redo my whole bathroom. I'm talking quiet because Nelson's still sleeping, but I have to get Jennifer ready for school and stuff. First impression is that my skin does feel really soft actually, and it doesn't have that sticky residue or anything, um, but they did say to rinse it off. So we're going to rinse it off and see where we are from there. At first, like when I was rinsing it off, it actually felt like, almost as if like there was, it, it had like a rinsing off a, like a little bit of a film. Oh my God, though, my skin is really, really, really soft. Really soft. In know this pimple. I started getting it last night before I put it on. You'll probably see in some footage. It's wow. 
yeah, it's like super soft. As I was letting it dry last night though, it did feel a little like, you know, like, you know, a little tingly and maybe, I don't know if it's just because of the, the thing drying. So it felt like it was almost itchy, but it wasn't really itchy. It was just kind of like, that's what it felt like. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna apply my regular moisturizer. I usually apply it right away. This is definitely something I'm gonna try doing for for a while. I mean, especially whenever I just feel like my skin's extra parched or whatever have you, because it's just so easy to do. It's like I put it on for a couple minutes and then I just go to bed. So it's a really simple masking. I love masks. So I might be trying the sleeping mask more often. Now I am going to be going into doing a, another skincare video for our new vegan skincare line to see how my skin takes to that. So I won't be using this for a few weeks, but Upon first impression, it is really, really nice. Seriously, I think my itchiness is caused from the ripe bananas that I have on my kitchen counter. I'm allergic to ripe banana peels. It's the weirdest thing. And sometimes when I'm within close proximity of very ripe banana peels, I get really itchy because I was fine after I went upstairs. Now my scalp is itchy. My eyebrows are itchy. Uh, I have to finish making breakfast for the kids and then I'll finish talking about the sleeping mask. My goodness, in this video, you guys are all, like, all over my house. Okay, so kids are fine. Now, a um, couple of things to note about the Belief Aqua Bomb sleeping mask. Okay, so it's it's part of the Aqua Bomb series. That's why it smells so much like the Aqua Bomb. I didn't get a chance to really read up on it too much last night before actually testing out. So um, the claims are that it rejuvenates, replenishes skins with explosive hydration, which I felt it did. And it has a memory formula, which means that it has an innovative jelly pudding texture that wraps around the contour of the skin while refreshing layer of intense and long lasting hydration. That sounds very fluffy, but it actually worked because I mean, it did really contour to my skin and it didn't feel like it was like sliding off. Jennifer's getting ready for school. We say wave hi. It has dual protection, which has like, it says like it has a moisture bursting gel net work, which the intense hydration system traps moisture in its gel net and delivers it to your skin for a unique refreshing sensation. It was very refreshing for sure. Loved the scent of it. It felt really good. And then there's a protection barrier, which is a shield to hold the moisturizing and soothing ingredients in all night long. The barrier completely sets on the skin, creating a non-sticky pillow-friendly mask. I did not have like mask residue on my pillow, which is also nice. Probably drool residue, but not mask residue anyways. And the final thing is that it's dermatology tested, it's vegan, and it's free of synthetic organic dyes. Okay, so there's no dyes. Uh, synthetic fragrances, mineral oils, parabens, sulfates, phthalates, and animal origin products. The key ingredients are the ladies' mantles, which is rich in antioxidants, which ha also helps to moisturize, soothe, and reduce the appearance of pores while helping to, to prevent skin troubles. So within time of use, this thing should go away. And then this should also lessen, which is nice. There's also Scottish Heather, which soothes the skin, and also Napier's original formula, which is a blend of chickweed, calendula, catnip, raspberry leaf, oak seed and wild indigo very cool okay so all the claims it definitely it was definitely there overnight it was hydrating replenishing soothing refreshing it didn't like smear all over my pillow it washed off really easily so overall i'm really happy with it it did everything that it said it would do so if you guys love doing masks but you don't have the patience for the traditional you know sit there for 15 to 20 minutes masks so if, if that's the case then try this one out because it is so easy to use and you use so little it's also kind of fun because the texture is kind of cool it literally it just dried in a few minutes and i just slept and rinsed it off in the morning so it's really easy i didn't even rinse it off first thing because i actually forgot about it and i had to let the dog out i had to let kiwi out and so i rinsed off like afterwards after i got Ginevra up and stuff so it is a really tea, uh, really easy to use formula that you don't have to sit there and wait and so that way you can easily just incorporate a weekly mask into your skincare regimen and this can be used two to three times a week i think this will be even fantastic in the summer if it does have the soothing properties it'll be great if you're spending like let's say if you had a day on the beach um and stuff it would actually be really really good to use it as a after sun mask i think because it'll be hydrating and soothing so yeah oh one more thing is okay on my hand so i did some here okay oh actually there is a little bit of a difference on my knuckles like my knuckles knuckles are still a bit rough but this side where i didn't apply the mask it made a difference 
See how much more red this side is? So what that means is if you have any left over, you can apply it to your hands, like any dry spots, maybe like hands, elbows, what have you, and try that out to see if that will also help because my knuckles have been really dry. I've been washing my hands a lot. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I'm going to keep using it after my next two week uh, skincare experiment. It was an easy to use product, something really simple and easy that I can include into my skincare regimen. And so now to never start school, so I got to end this quick. If you're interested in getting one of these for yourselves, make sure you do contact your local Avon representative, or you can always go ahead and click my link down below. If you're interested in trying out products and also giving testimonials on it, becoming a brand ambassador and selling the products coast to coast, make sure you do also go and click on join Avon and you can get your business up and running. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I do have new videos out every single week and you never want to miss one of those. All right, I love you guys. Bye.